Welcome to the podcast series for the Journal of Neurophysiology. I'm Bill Yates, the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal, and today we will be discussing the article, The Divisive Normalization Model of V1 Neurons, a Comprehensive Comparison of Physiological Data and Model Predictions. Before we begin, let's meet our guest. Hi, I'm Tada Tawada, an assistant professor in the School of Psychology at the National Research University Higher School of Economics in Moscow, Russia. I specialize in vision science using mathematical, computational, and behavioral approaches. My primary interest is in the mechanisms of spatial and shape perception in both 2D and 3D. Could you give us a brief background of the divisive normalization model? The divisive normalization model is a model of the relation between a visual stimulus and the response of a neuron in V1. This relation can be characterized by a linear filter to some extent, but there is also suppression from other neurons. Here represented this suppression as a divisive operation in the model. The divisive normalization model is proposed as a functional model with a structural or mechanistical interpretation. This model is widely accepted and it has been used to explain and fit the data in many physiological studies. Note that in these physiological studies, the model has been often customized. These customized models are referred as divisive normalization models despite having different mathematical expressions. Also note that the model becomes too flexible if customization is allowed for individual studies. The model used must be sufficiently rigid to examine a scientific theory. If it is not, the model will be just descriptive. An additional problem is that the model is customized to use parameters of a visual stimulus rather than the stimulus itself. For example, some customized models for cross-orientation suppression take contrast of the two gratings used to compose a plate rather than the plate itself. Such a variant of a divisive normalization model can only be applied to specific visual stimuli. It cannot be generalized. So what did you do with the divisive normalization model in this study? We reviewed studies of V1 neurons and tested how well the model could emulate the physiological results reported in these studies. We propose a standardized mathematical formulation of the divisive normalization model and implemented it as a computer software whose input is a bitmap image. This allowed us to apply the model to diverse visual stimuli and to discuss the model as a falsifiable scientific theory. What were some of the challenges you faced in the study and how did you resolve them? Getting a good balance between the rigidity and the flexibility of the model was a difficult problem. Recall that the model has to be rigid if it is going to provide a scientific theory. At the same time, the model has to be flexible because the neurons in V1 are highly diverse. They do have some common characteristics, but they are tuned differently. So a useful model must be flexible enough to cover such diverse neurons. We resolved these issues by setting up a mathematical formulation of the divisive normalization model. We can only modify its parameters, but we cannot modify the mathematical formulation itself. These parameters are fixed for a given individual neuron, but they can be modified to represent another neuron with different response properties. Tell us about the results you found. First, the model is flexible. The model can emulate almost all phenomena of V1 neurons reported in past physiological studies simply by modifying its parameters. At the same time, the model predicts interdependence between certain observable phenomena. Some of these interdependencies were completely unexpected. These phenomena were affected critically by the same parameters of the model. The interdependence of these phenomena could be predicted because the parameters were fixed for individual neurons. We also found that there are a few phenomena that cannot be emulated by the model with our formulation. It should not be difficult to emulate these phenomena by customizing the model. Customizing it will generate some new predictions. What are the next steps in your work? The divisive normalization model should be further developed by integrating more mechanistic ideas about V1 neurons taken from physiological studies. 
noted that a functional model of some system can be regarded as an intermediate step towards a structural model for better understanding of the system. Each subsequent model should be developed to make it more and more structural. I'd like to thank our guests for participating in today's discussion of the article, The Divisive Normalization Model of V1 Neurons, a comprehensive comparison of physiological data and model predictions, part of the podcast series for the Journal of Neurophysiology. Music